Welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2021.4 Release Spotlight. In this release, we have a number of great improvements to low-level profiling, as well as some general quality of life improvements to the user interface. Additionally, we've added support for the new Kronos Vulkan video extension that is currently in preview. In this release, you can frame capture applications that use the new Vulkan video extension to decode H.264 and H.265 video. This extension is currently in preview and provides hardware accelerated encoding and decoding using Vulkan as a standard API. In a future release, we'll be supporting encoding as well as final ratified extension support. Normally, the GPU trace low-level profiler is used to gather metrics for a frame or multiple frames, but what if your application does not use frames? In other words, what if you don't use present, but instead execute compute workloads to generate normals or optimize geometry? We've listened to your feedback and now have a new one-shot trace mode for GPU trace that allows you to generate a trace for such a scenario. Trace analysis is now officially out of beta. Trace analysis is a feature that takes a GPU trace and creates a report that focuses your attention to where you would get the most performance benefit from optimizing your code. In addition to fixing a lot of bugs, we've improved the way in which we represent potential performance improvements in the UI. To try it out, just click the Analyze button after taking a GPU trace. GPU trace now exposes bar 0, bar 1, and bar 2 metrics. Bar 1 metrics are particularly interesting as this information can help you determine if you are doing memory transfers over the PCIe bus most efficiently, taking advantage of the new improvements on Ampere GPUs and modern motherboards. In addition, GPU Trace now supports the new Vulkan CUDA Interop extension that allows you to launch CUDA PTX files directly from your Vulkan application. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA Developer Channel.